Welcome to APEA Dog Grooming. Today we are grooming Rocco. As usual, we are doing a rough cut and I am using a number 10 blade with an Oster blue comb, comb attachment. So as you can tell, Rocco is a sitter. What I mean by that is that as soon as I take my hand off of him, my left hand, he will sit or he will lay. I just deal with that just by putting my non-working hand right under his body so that when he feels that urge to sit down, he feels my hand and goes, whoops, and stands right back up. So I'm going to fast forward this part just to get this video going. So Rocco was a pretty calm dog, he was mostly scared, he wasn't aggressive at all, except to towards my husband. Um, I'm not sure why, but he was really fine with me, he did okay, but as soon as my husband came by and just, you know, started to pet him because he really likes dogs, he actually bit him in the face. Like he didn't hurt him or anything, but he snapped and caught his eyebrow. Um, not sure why that is. It's just really odd behavior. Because with me, he was a delight. So anyways, just finishing off this rough cut, just put on a orange comb attachment over my tan blade to do the top of his head and now we are ready for the bath. So now that we are in the tub, I always make it super important to scrub thoroughly his feet any dog's feet because that is the dirtiest part on them. That's where they walk, that's where uh, most of the dirt and grime are. So 
just clean that area well. And now it's time to rinse. Make sure you rinse all of that water out. Don't leave any shampoo or any other product in his fur because it will itch. When rinsing, always make sure to pinch that ear canal shut so that no water can get in. As I mentioned in a previous video, you can also use cotton, dry cotton balls and stuff them in their ear canal so that when you are bathing, all the water that could get into the ear canal will get absorbed by those cotton balls and then just take them out when you're done. An option if you're really really concerned that you might get water in there. So what I'm doing is just giving him a second shampoo on his head because he had sort of a greasy hair on his head so make sure that your dog is clean so that your clipper and your comb attachments can get through that hair nicely. So everything was fine up to that point. It was after the blow dry that he bit my husband. So I did have to muzzle him just because I wasn't sure why he did it. Because he didn't growl, he didn't show teeth or do anything to warn him. He just went for his face. So 
I didn't feel safe and I had to muzzle him but um, I don't usually like doing that because I feel it just makes them more unsure just continuing on with his grill So like myself, my husband is camera shy and didn't want me to take a picture or put in that um, footage where he bit him. Um, you're just gonna have to take my word for it, I guess. But it's no big deal, it didn't, it wasn't that bad, it was just, you know, I think so. There's no, no need to make a big fuss out of it. Just be more careful the next time I see him. That's all. Alright, so now that we're done with that sanitary trim, we're going to do a final cut on him. Just go over everything in the same way we did with our rough cut, but with a ceramic edge. And with a clean coat, the comb attachments glide literally through the hair. There is no knotting there. Well, you have to brush them out, obviously, but you know, the coat is so much easier to work with once it is clean and free of tangles. So what I forgot to mention on him was that I was not going to shorten the length of his feet. I just wanted to shorten the length of his back and his neck and his face but I wanted to keep somewhat of a full leg so that he has more of that Yorkie look. I mean he is pretty giant to be a Yorkie but they told me he was a schnauzer he's clearly not a schnauzer he has more of a Yorkie color coat on him but um, I just wanted to keep his legs nice and full and fluffy so that he had a cuter aspect
don't forget to wait to the end of this video so that you can see the before and after pictures. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below if you have any questions or comments. Happy grooming and stay safe out there. Bye!